Welcome back to the channel. We are in the middle of a major remodel of our bedroom and now it's time to start reinforcing some wood and putting it back together. One of the things I'm gonna have to do is work on the ceiling, but I'm finding it difficult because the ceiling is too high and I don't have a step ladder. So to get this project moving along, I decided to try to make a platform to stand on so I can continue working. I'm envisioning something maybe 18 inches tall and I'm not sure how wide, a couple to, you know, three or four feet wide. Let me look at the wood, get a plan, and then I'll tell you what I thought of. I have an idea because I have very minimal supplies to work with. I'm gonna keep this super simple and easy to break down so I don't have to have this big bulky thing that I have to carry around. So I'm just gonna to try to throw something together. It'll be easier to show it than to explain it. All right guys, I think I'm done. That's what I came up with. It's a quick and easy something to stand on. It has a little bit of wobble to it, but that's normal, it doesn't fall. The only thing I wish I did different is space these out a little bit more. I spaced them out an inch because the wood I was using was an inch, but this wood has a cup to it. So it's thicker than an inch from the top to the sides. If it was flat, if it was a dead flat board, this would actually sit a lot more stable. But all in all, it's good. Holds the weight, I can stand up tall. Hopefully it's not too tall. If it is, I can cut the bottom of the legs off. So this is how I did it. I basically just chose 15 degrees for my angles because it sounded good. There was no big reason for that. It was just a decent angle, not too much, not too little. I offset the two by fours so that when the pressure is pushing down, it's pushing up on this one and down on that one. Because when you're on it, it wants to bend and it can't bend. But when you turn it straight, it loses the pressure. It's easy to pull out. Go ahead and try it out. Cool. Looks good to me. So this board, I just cut it to the width of this board. Left a little bit of wiggle room so you can slide it in easy. So depending on what wood you're using here, determines how wide this is and how wide the gap is between this board and this board. 
So here it is guys, I have a platform, I can reach the ceiling. Now I can take some measurements and start beefing up these joists, getting ready for drywall on the ceiling. And it saved us a lot of money. I didn't have to go out and buy a ladder, so that's cool. Well, I guess I'm gonna end it here. I hope this project inspired you, gave you some ideas of your own. You could do a lot with this. It's actually a pretty comfortable and pretty easy bench to make. And you could even make it permanent just by maybe putting some screws straight down and straight up into these two by fours. And you got a bench that the legs just won't fall off. I personally am gonna keep it loose like this because it's really steady, really stable. And if I want a longer board, I can throw it in later. And it makes it move it around, moving it around easier. Sometimes you just gotta make stuff work, make and do with what you got. I'm ready to get working. I might get a little done tonight until the sun goes down. But we'll catch you up on all that later. So until next time, take care.